Alright, welcome back. In, uh, in me messing with the Arte, can I feel if it goes out and connects to a network, or is can I not sense where the Arte is? I'm assuming it's something you actually don't keep track of then, is it? Great question. I... Something. Uh, <laughs> Good dinner. Alright. You can get... Yeah, I can. The, uh, it, it kind of generalized huh. idea, and you know that it, it does extend down into kind of like a deeper pool. An actual well-looking, yeah. feeling thing? Uh, okay. You're not sure exactly where it goes, but you can tell it goes down. It just is really far. deep. Yeah. Hey, Rand, go check. <laughs> <laughs> just walk down. You can swim, um, right? You breathe underwater? You got that armor? Our tech is water. We, can find we don't know tech. that. <laughs> um, I roll a 22 on Arcana to work with him to see if we can find out, bef before he changes it, yeah. if we can find out an effective use beyond just dipping our weapons in it. Um, know, use for the cold, uh, huh? our tech. I'm pretty, that's pretty so, useful to me. Yeah, <laughs> two, two wizards working together. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. yeah. Uh, 22 is good. So, um, of course, it it strengthens... Well, that's over and done with. <laughs> it, it, it does strengthen ice magic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to improve the damage uh, that like ice spells do. You can use it for freezing various things. I mean, it's just, it's like... Just ice. Really good ice cubes. Yeah. Um, Peter's ones. I take uh, some of the vials out of my alchemist kit. I fill four vials of it. So I've got like these four little frost bombs. Okay. <laughs> that would make something a big frost monster if you threw them at him. Possibly. Uh, not, yeah. not possibly. necessarily. But, but possibly. It's hard yeah. to say. You can it's... also hypothetically use it to like draw it out to strengthen your frost magic. Yeah. Which would be pretty handy. Yeah. I don't have a bunch of vials with me, but um, whatever. Oh. I filled up four, so cool. Um, should we leave it ice, or should I change it? You think the cave underneath will react? What? I have no use. No, I wasn't asking your opinion. No. Well, between the two of us, I think we can do it. Well, I know we can. I know I can. But I just wondering, is there? You think there's any disadvantage or any danger in making we the well below we turn from ice to something different? Mm. Well, I have no idea. Yep. <laughs> I think if, if I can... I'd urge on the side of caution, though. Yeah, can I draw my power without changing it? Well, uh, it's as far as, like, refilling your yeah. your magic thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you can. Okay, then well, that's all I'll do. Yeah, you can, but that that will attune your your magic pool to ice technically for three slots. For however many slots you have. Well, I mean, I have. It'll change the whole rec tech that you have. Oh, okay. Uh, like my draconic ancestry thing. No, like all all casters have it. It it's kind of shaped like a quiver almost. Oh. But it's okay. basically that's where your a, spell slots yeah. are. Oh, that's your spell. Okay. Slots, like a quiver of okay. so, you draw from. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thought that was wizards and not sorcerers. Oh, that's true. You draw yours, I guess, from my own soul, the, the body, air, and spirit, the like surrounding. You yeah. can use unrefined technology. Yeah. Which is around. I can't. But yes, you can. Uh, I, I, I guess then you wouldn't stuff. have a device like that. So. I'm from pure stubbornness. Yeah right. Give me give me a yeah. percentile roll. Dumb luck. You get chaotic stupid. Yeah, you're something really really uh, ignorant, and you're like, I can use chromatic orb whatever I want. Yeah, it's just I, I'm too stupid, stupid to not accident. believe I can. Thirty four. Can't do it. So Thirty four. It so it's gonna take you a little while, but, but so just basically what you can do is um, like, like meditate. I pull it up and like change that and. Yeah, you can All you right. can kind of draw it within yourself. So it takes us we're around this well for about twenty minutes okay. or so. I would say. Yeah. Huh? Right. Okay. It takes yeah. you a while to like. Yeah. You just had to steady yourself while sitting down. Well, cool. So there, I just wanted to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's, just like, he's, he's admiring the wall. Yeah. He's anyway, so there's nothing move on? else that we so, interesting in here. This is pretty much a circle room. Okay. You should have your little rock uh, buddy. Did, uh, check in this oh, room. Yes. 
Take care Stop of telling you. me what to do with my things. I don't tell you what to do with Bark, do I? Yes. <laughs> yes, but only for Bark's sake. That's a really good point. <laughs> All right. What were you saying? So, we're moving on. You guys have clear, cleared uh, the area. I don't know. What I was steps. trying to think of something else, but there's nothing else to say. Well? No, the well we already cleared. The, the, the only place we haven't <laughs> gone is what? try to get through over there. What about? Okay. Wait. Is there no other exit to this room? Not from right there. Okay. I mean, it goes back into the hallway, and then the hallway leads to that door. And then there's a cave in All right. the other side. So there's a cave in on the one side, so you can... Yes, that's correct. So this cave That kind of leads to... Oh, there is another side side of this hallway. Yeah. Which we, this book. we have a different sheet of paper for. Yeah, oh, see, oh. See, like, ha have we... This way. No, no, we have not gone over that way. We've not gone that way yet. Okay. That's right. We still have what two more rings to grab too. I yeah, we probably got two. I, I got one. You got well, one. Well then, yeah. Did you get the second one? You I don't have second. it. All right, everybody, gr grab your minis. Oh, we had the uh, we had him carry the the red ring. Oh, you have a red no, ring. No, I thought you gave it to me because I was. I have the resistance. Yeah, yeah, you gave it to him. Yes, I do have Sorry. it because okay, it caused the fire ring, damage. You have the red Sorry, ring. Sorry, he, he, he said he was fiery. Yeah, got yeah. I am fiery. That's me. I have the hell. I have the hell tribute or not hell tribute. I have the hell resistance. Yeah, yeah Hell's Tribute, that's a way different cooler thing. I do have Hell's Tribute. Do you? Yeah, my Infernal Legacy gives it to so me. So cool, isn't it? Yep. Uh -huh. It's such a nice spell. It really is. I just haven't had a chance to use it. Yeah, it, it's it not wow, what the a hell? thing. Okay, that's part yeah. of it. Sure, huh? 2-2, two, two, one eleven. That's it. There Our... it is. This one? Yeah, that one. Sorry. Right. Okay, Get two rooms so... in here. Here's where we are, yeah, right? right there. Okay. So, 112. Yeah. Uh, that's. That's fine. We'll get to that later. We'll start here. We got a whole other side. So, we see one door or do we see this door? Well, we came from here, so we. Already seen that. Oh, so we, yeah, we, we know just decided weird. to go this way. We know yeah. the doors are there. We just yeah. Have to so like, I'll show sure you guys. This is the the, the entrance. Is your rock dude still over here? Yeah, this is one twelve. Yeah, yeah he's in that room with them people. Okay. And there's there's more. Until here, 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 this away. this yeah. is where the oh, okay. cars are looking. Yeah. And Salazar was staring at all of the the magical uh, stuff. Yeah. He was he was high. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So that's that. Part. <laughs> and you have this Sorry. is Sorry. this is all scratched out. So like this is all open space. So you have this door and this door to okay. deal with. And neither one have we've walked through. No. We've not um, even examined. Hey Rand, we'll go open the door. I will investigate. One of the doors. <laughs> I've learned my lesson about just opening doors. Watch my cards with for it. now. <laughs> and I'm gonna move down to the door just closest to the, to the entrance way. to where we came in. And my hand out extending my limited but they are arcane senses. And just investigating the door. Do that oh, door? Okay. Bring that got it, got it. Did. Hang on a second. Let me get it all pulled I actually watched some more videos. You may not have many arcane senses, but I got the some. Overall <laughs> point. It's quite hard to... Okay. The arcane trickster uses the perception. He uses the intelligence, yeah, but I have no arcana. Yeah. Perception roll. Perfect. Actually, oh, you can take perception roll. You can pay for it. Your uh, class comes from. Okay, cool. Thirteen. Believe, hold on, I might be wrong. Thirteen. Yes. Cool. So, from from the door, you can actually hear like you know when you press your your your, your ear up. Again. Oh no, never mind. That's something. You can hear a different. strange but yeah, steady yeah, mechanical that. ticking noise. It's a bomb. From <laughs> from the darkness Snape. beyond the cramped hallway. Well, from I know what we're from the beyond the door. Uh, mm -hmm. Rather. Feet. Uh, let's see. It's a white bomb. Okay, so guys, there's something ticking behind this door. Um, do I notice anything about the door itself? Lock traps. Such a, such a, so good. Sorry, go ahead. Do I notice anything about the door itself? Locked trap that I can it notice. It is. Um, it's locked, 
And one thing that's weird is that it, it seems like, oh, hey, Graydon, what's up? Uh, it, it seems like, almost like the door has a little, 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 little bit of a bulge out. Kind of so bulge like there's a pressure almost, it yeah. seems like it might be. Okay, well, guys, there's something ticking behind this door, and it looks like something might be pushing against it. Maybe it's just happy to see you. It's locked. I say we let our lock picker take care of this one. Or that's racist. That would be Kyron. Exactly. And investigate the other door too with the old gloves of gloveness. Which Still is racist. Not something I can do. Well, so. I'm I didn't follow him. Well, if you if you want, I'm also going to do that. While I say, <laughs> hey, door's locked. If you want to open it, Kyron, you should probably take care of that. And then I go do the same thing at the other door. All right. Another well, perception. Give me that perception, bro. I say that to Kyron for Perry to pull him out of the way. 19. Dude, Regular I'm going to stay where I'm at and use Mage Hand. 19, you say? Yes. Can Mage Hand lift him? Mage Hand can. 10 pounds? No, I'd use Mage Hand to pick the lock. Yeah, because yeah. uh, we have Mage Hand Ledger Man. Okay. This <laughs> door. <laughs> Do you think I'm going to stand in front of a door that might explode? <laughs> <laughs> I got it! <laughs> That's also why. No, who would ever do that? that? <laughs> this door is, is pretty ornate and. You'll actually notice that it has uh, where the door that you went through or had had to go through to get the fire ring. Yeah. This one's kind of similar, except it has uh, slots for three rings. And we only have two. Okay, yeah. Uh, looks like about the same kind it's of door, guys. Bad. We only yeah. got two of these here rings. Sounds like you gotta go to the other we one. We might need to go through the ticking door. Oh. Kyron, open the door, like I said before. Everybody back up? Yeah. Or I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Oh. Yeah, so am I. I'm just gonna sit here by this door. There's that mysterious ticking noise. You're in the white bubble. Yeah. And you want us to go back to Harry Potter. Harry Potter. That's um, me. doing mage hand. Mage hand. There's a lot. You pick a lot. <laughs> All right. No one here could like do a tinkering check of what the hell is making the sound. I don't even know what a tinkering check uh, would be. I, mean, I like don't a, have any kind of skill unique to um, gunslingers and. Yeah. Yeah, I've got no kind of skill that could even go moves. for that. that and it'd be an intelligence-based thing. Yeah. Which I don't have. Alchemist isn't a class. I got a little, but I ain't got a lot. I've it's a homebrew. Uh, yeah. Same well, thing. That's what he yeah. yeah. I would have liked to have known that. <laughs> I converted that over. It's pretty rad. <laughs> 29. Nice. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, that door is open. Click. And. Um, oh. Click, click. Nope. Are, are you going to use the um, mage hand to open the door? Yes. yes. So, so good. Because I'm not stupid. Very gently. Yeah, when you smell it. Like start, start to twist open the door, right. and it, it, it sort of gets past that that point where it would swing open. It it pops open pretty pretty hard, and like rubble and stuff kind of falls into the. Great. More freaking restaurant card. Rocks. <laughs> Well, yes, I'm an earthbender, so it, that helps. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Okay, so just that's all it is, is do we... When you look into it, like, there, there doesn't seem to be much by way of traps or anything. It's just, it's just the ceiling like, was collapsed. Um, small paths through the rubble here, and there, there's like crumbled rock from the ceiling forming a really tight tunnel. Could the halfling fit in it? Uh, yes, Look, actually. Before you do... No, no, let it go. Wait. <laughs> I need to go larger visible. than small has to make some... Can I make a check. suggestion before you risk your life? Yeah, I'm all up for that, yeah. <laughs> um, um, it's a probably acrobatic. It's a tunnel, correct? From what, From what we can see. You're squeezing through. Well, Could be I argue that my hawk is smaller than you are. Uh, that's no argument at all. It definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> you win that argument. <laughs> and it's also a magical creature that can be resummoned if it dies. Okay, new plan. Let's send it bird through. All right. Well, and first, I can tell how to communicate with it. So, okay. yeah. perfect. Okay, so head on through, buddy. We send his bird oh, through the very small passageway. So, so, so we're gonna send Leon through the passage, and I'm gonna telepathically communicate with it, and it'll tell me what it sees. Okay. Okay. Sends the bird and he's just like, ah, I got this, guys. And just like, you know, I like anybody who has a better plan than the halfling goes. Bird. I, Bless you, I bird. like anyone who has a better plan than the halfling goes. <laughs> I like my plan. 
I like just sending the halfling in to do things. Can we still send him? <laughs> <laughs> just for shits and giggles. So Wait, am I in charge now? Well, you've made better decisions than most of us. <laughs> in the most Bless of you. Us. Yeah, like me. What's your bird's name? Leon? Uh, the bird's name's Leon. Yeah. Leon. Leon! Leon the Hawk. His animal companion doesn't have as cool as name as mine. <sighs> your animal's name is an onomatopoeia. Bark with a Q. <laughs> The shitty onomatopoeia. <laughs> shit onomatopoeia. Barqua. He's, he's French. <laughs> no, he's French. <laughs> the, uh, Come Barqua. So Leon, Leon flies through. Oh, what, what, what do you have to hop to? through? To hop here and there, because some of it's pretty tight. Squeeze. And on the other side, there's... I'm feeling the bird's just going to turn around and fly right back at <laughs> Fuck this. And then there's a bird shit Luchino. lining the tunnel. Aw, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, no. <coughs> Squawk, Squawk. <laughs> Squawk, set the house. Squawk. <laughs> there's... Uh, I just missed my sword. One thing that, that, that Leon sees in the little 110 hallway is that there are some um, small, like, mechanical... Creatures that are kind of hiding out. And Clockwork actually, monsters? Uh, yeah. The god replicators. <laughs> no. Give me a perception check to Leon. Alright. His perception is better than mine. I'm about to say he's a bird. Birds yeah. are bright with their eyes. It's a dire hawk. It better be sharp sighted. How um, big is this fucker? How big is a dire you? hawk? <laughs> uh, no. Well, I got an 18 and a perception on a dire hawk probably. I, I don't have it written down. Um, you have a monster manual. I do. Yes. Dire. Uh, I don't think I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's from like sniffing. it's a boost. It's just hawk. an it's an Take a hawk and add two. Yeah. It's a plus two hawk. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plus two hawk. Plus two hawk. Master work hawk. Okay. Let's see. Dire hawks are just really grumpy and prote overprotective. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And heavy. Oh. They are heavy. Oh. They, are they see the worst in every situation. It's quite dire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bam. I don't know why I'm, I'm doing good tonight. There's giant eagle, which is kind of the same deal. <laughs> that would be, yeah. Probably because I've been pissed uh, off all day. Perception plus four. <laughs> That's the best rap right. so. Well, 22. Yeah. 22 is good. So, yes. Leon will see the um, clockwork critters. Took away his Sunday job. They don't attack him. Do. Better than a million clockwork boy. They don't try to attack him or anything. He's not attacking him. Right. He's just. Uh, they're um, looking at him though. Oh, this is the person I mean, that might be attacked. They notice that he's there, mm -hmm. but they don't. Um, in in the, it, it it just kind of opens out into one eleven right there. All right. So Leon flies in there. <clears> he can't go through doors, obviously. So. Right. Right. You can see this. So. Um, like, Can he carry a coat? If he was a greater hawk, he could. Te the husk. Te telepathically see through the eyes, or...? Uh, no, he's relaying information back to me. I'm not high enough level to see through his eyes yet. As in, like, feelings? Telekinetic uh, words. Actual words. 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 Yes. Yes. He's, like, he can, I can only understand him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got it. Okay, so... BB! Uh, <laughs> dirt and bones are piled deeply Actually, in this room, obscuring the floor completely. Whoa. Bones. Bones and of, of grossness. Of the people type? Yeah. The the stench of musk and blood is strong and thick. Uh, there also seems to be underneath the like the the floor of bones. Uh, it seems to move and writhe about. Whoa. Something lives there. It's huh? Dianaga. Not just. <laughs> Is that the thing that it's the trash compactor? Yeah. <laughs> That's where um, I figured you were going. I just with missed that. the description of what we're talking about because I'm even more distracted. Now. <laughs> <sighs> there's a bunch Basic, of dirt and there's bones. There's a bunch of dirt and bones, and the bones are actually like wobbling around and writhing. You're so petty. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Q! And there's a bunch of clockwork yeah, right. things. Close enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on it's top of the bones. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the... Well... 
I ask you, is are you relaying this information to us as you um, get it, or...? Well, once he, once he's seen everything and he's coming back, I start relaying. Okay. Uh, I don't send him to do any spells or anything, I just call him back once he's seen what he's seen. Okay. Were the bones and everything that? only the um, covering the entire so, floor? So, first of all, there's a hallway in front of us. Okay. Inside of it are several um, clockwork creatures. They did not attack Leon at first sight. So I think we'll be okay as long as we don't leave. As long so as we if we don't balls. attack them for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Thanks, Doozy. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Where'd the goblin come from? <laughs> um, Alright. And then, there are two doors on in the hallway to the left. Leon obviously can't open them, so he went to the right. There's a large room in there, <laughs> filled with dust and bones. And there's something underneath the bones, something alive. How thick's that wall? Give me one more perception check for when... Uh, he was on his way out. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good explanation. Got it. Got it. Got it. So um, I, I had seen something alive in there. I'm like, okay, Leon, you can come back. I don't want you literally killing yourself for this. Um, were the bones through the whole hallway, or were they just in the? Not room? yet. Just about enough room for I don't know, halfway. <laughs> So, uh, don't we have somebody who can Rand, move some of this? You, yeah. you can actually get through without any problems because of your size. Everyone else will have to make dexterity checks. Or I was about to say, don't we have somebody that can move some earth around the air? Yeah, can't I like carefully move the earth around a little bit to pull it into the area we're in to clear Was that it a out? cantrip you had? A cantrip for you? Yeah, the earth bending cantrip, whatever it's called. Mold Earth. How much can I move at once? I like his. Cube. Nobody's answering his question. Uh, how thick's the wall? Yeah. Well, based on the other walls that we've seen, because I'm assuming it's probably the same. Yeah, it's. I would say it's about <clears throat> ten to twelve inches. I can move a five foot cube worth of stone. I need to borrow you in a second. Me. Uh. You have a spell I need. If it's loose, um, I can completely evacuate it. We'll find out. That's what I'm looking at right now. Um, I don't think it does. What are you doing? You can move five foot cubes, I think. Yeah, five foot cubes. I can make terrain difficult or make difficult terrain uh, normal. So mostly, so you give them like advantage on Well, their... no, I would like kind of clear it out oh, so okay. that it's not difficult terrain anymore. Oh, it's and it's... Uh... Like, it's literally earth bending, but like... Five foot bits of rock at a time. Can't really do a whole lot of damage. Trip. Yeah, it's a cantrip that I can't like throw it. I can move it like five feet at a time. It's just a five foot cube at a time. It's kind of like pushing yeah. it in front of him. Mm. So it's going to take us about 30 minutes for him to clear it all out, but yeah. he can do that. <clears throat> well, you guys want to take a break while he does that? <sighs> we can rest. I could. He has to hey, sit here. hey, speaking of that, we have. He has to sit here and describe 60, himself moving dirt. 60 seconds left. Um. Okay. Let's see. Well, I sit down and I read some. While well, he's doing that, I'll sit down and read one of the tomes that mm. I, I picked up in that room. See if I can glean <laughs> some knowledge so. from it. All right. Just meaning to do that. It there, is, there is some time for that. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about how long it takes to do each five foot square. Uh, the spell is just instantaneous, and I can do it for an hour. So. So you pretty much just hold a space open for an hour. Well. And then yeah, we'll I, I, can, back. I can like just. That's like Princess of the Apocalypse. Yeah. Oh, that's not a player's handbook spell. No. Nope. Oh, okay. But I mean, it's a I'm, I'm a teacher at well, uh, yeah, college, so. Special. Princess of the Apocalypse. Where is the Earth? Ben. Earth. Ben. Oh, 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 mold Earth. Item spells. There it is. Two thirty. Mold Earth. Mold Earth. Yes, mold the earth. Yeah, we, we have 44 seconds. I'd say we should just go ahead and end the episode now. Okay. And then you can look that up. That okay. way we can look it up and talk amongst ourselves while we figure out what the fuck Got it. Got it. Bye. Bye.